Hello and welcome to the latest edition of the New Haven Independent Vlog News Summary, direct from our newsroom, otherwise known as my compost heap. Let's see what stories we're working on this week. Hey, check it out. Look what I found here. Snow. See that snow? And this ought to be enough to get New Haven all scared and locking our doors. Because you know what we learned this week with a little bit of snow? We're a bunch of snow whips, wimps in this town. You know that? Late Wednesday night, actually it was Thursday morning, it started to snow. We had our first few inches of the year, inches, while other places are getting 10 feet. Wednesday night, hours before there was even a flake, they shut down all public meetings. They shut down the zoning board. They shut down an aldermanic hearing on block grants. They shut down a meeting on the East Shore. There wasn't even a danger that someone was going to leave that meeting later and have a single snowflake fall on his or her head. Now, it was a good idea to close the schools the next day. It was so icy, it was treacherous conditions, but we overreact here. I was riding the B bus back home the next day on Whaley, crowded bus usually. I was the only passenger for more than half the ride. Now, come on, we don't have to be that scared of a little snow. Let's see what else we got working on here. What other top story? I'll check out this crutch. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of those old commercials with the kids who had uh, lost limbs. They, they used to call them crippled children in those days before the language changed. And New Haven had a fund for crippled children that exists to this day. And we have a top story this week, Melissa Bailey reports, you can read it on the website, where a lawyer was handling an estate for an elderly woman who died with no relatives to leave her estate to. And she had reserved the money that she left behind to go to a fund for crippled children. Guess what this lawyer did? He had to sell the house for her to get the money. He forms a partnership with two buddies, one of whom you might recognize, Sal Brancati. He used to be a city ball deal maker. Great guy. We'd all want to do business with Sal. He's a nice guy. This guy does business with Sal and another guy. They form a partnership, and they do some real estate investing. He forms this partnership the day this woman dies. Then they dissolve the partnership, and immediately he sells the house to his business partners. Forget this, a two-family house in East Rock for $250,000. A year later, they're turning around his buddies and selling it for $379,000. They say they can explain. I think they're going to have some explaining to do. Meanwhile, read the story and see what you think. What else we got here? Oh my, are these angel wings? Hmm. Well, maybe they're bunny ears. Let's call them angel wings because there are some angels in New Haven this week. They're from Junta for Progressive Action, an agency in Fairhaven, and Unida Latino in Acción, otherwise known as Latinos United in Action. They rescued people in a kind of modern-day underground railroad, Guatemalan immigrants, illegal immigrants, who are working at a nursery elsewhere in the state and have been hijacked there when they were supposed to be working in North Carolina and working under modern-like slavery conditions. Slavery-like conditions, told not to even leave their house, having their pay docked for things like materials, working long hours for whatever minimum wage, scared to leave. And these griefs in New Haven, Una, Junta, and and Stone, came and rescued them and brought them to our great support network, the informal support network in Fairhaven that we have in this city. Got them new jobs, got them a donated apartment at first, an apartment to live in, linked them up with the community and friends, showed them how to ride the bus, and got them all set up. And we're proud we're that kind of city, that kind of city that cares. Hello, I guess we're also a city that knows how to party. Time to party. Got a bottle of wine here. Let's go down to Toads. Maybe this summer I'll meet you there. Oh, wait a second. Can't go to Toads this summer because they were selling some of that hooch to underage kids. So what's a place like Toads going to do if they want to some liquor and help you hear some music? Open somewhere else and they close you down. So this summer, according to some stories in the press, they're going to be opening up at the Palace Theater. that will be kind of fun. It's about time the Palace lights up. New Haven Advocate broke that story that appeared to be moving there. Then the New Haven Register, a few days later, pretended on the front page that they broke the story and I um, attributed it to unidentified sources. I guess some people have no shame. But anyway, see you at Toads or the Palace. And until next time, this is the New Haven Independent Vlog News Summary. And remember, always pick up your trash.